Now look, it's just me and you. You can tell me the truth. Are you focusing on growing your business, trying to figure out ways you can go ahead and scale it and definitely make those sales? Or are you focusing on Facebook and Instagram likes? You can tell me the truth. Welcome back to my channel, Tamiya Dawkins here. If you've never seen my face before, I would love to invite you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel because on my channel, we talk about all things connected to living the intentional lady life so that you can build a life and a dream business that I know that you'll absolutely love. Why? Because of the fact that you built it. Do me a favor, make sure that you hit the cute little bell for updates. So whether you wanna go ahead and confess or not, that maybe you've been focusing a whole lot on the wrong things. And some of those things might be really paying too close attention to your Facebook and your Instagram likes. And so what I want to first start off by saying is that most upcoming and aspiring entrepreneurs do the exact same thing. They pay so much attention to the fact that they might not have this huge and big and gigantic following on social media that they fail to pay attention to the things that really matter in their business building. So with that being said, if you have the mindset that is looking forward to growing your business and definitely getting those sales in the back end, I want to go ahead and definitely give you all of the tips and the tricks that you need to be able to grow your business. So in today's training video, we're going to be going over 10 ways you can go ahead and grow your business fast. Let's go ahead and get into it. So if you've been around here for some time and you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that. But you probably have been paying attention to the fact that I talk a lot about intentionality. And I do this because I truly believe that intentionality is connected to purpose. And once you know what it is that you are purposed to do in life, you can totally go after that call and fulfill the very and exact things that I believe that you're here on the earth to do. And so first off, I really want to begin to talk to you about growing your business by really paying attention to intentionality. And so you can do this within your business by making sure that you have a very intentional message and also an intentional vision so that you can focus on what matters most in your business. It's kind of like the communication that you have with people. You want people to pay attention to the different things that you have to say because you find them valuable and that brings me to my next point what value do you have within your business to be able to offer to the customers and the clients that you absolutely are craving for what value do you have to offer and you can figure out this particular component of your business by putting together something called a value proposition this is the very thing that your customers and upcoming clients need to hear within your intentional message and also within your vision that will absolutely pull them in to want to go ahead and purchase your products and services. Now, if you're still kind of looking at me through the screen going to me exactly what is a value proposition. So what I'll go ahead and do is share mine. Now, I wanna caution you not to copy mine, especially if you are in the exact same niche. And the reason why you don't want to copy anybody's value proposition word for word is because you want to be authentic, authentic to your brand your message and your vision and you can only do that when you go ahead make sure that you do the work that is necessary to find the value that you have to give to your particular potential clients and upcoming customers and so I do believe in differentiation I talk a lot about that but what you do want to do in the business world is definitely differentiate yourself try to pull out the valuable parts of who you are what makes you and your particular brand or company or business exactly what it is. So here's my value proposition. I teach beginning ladypreneurs, newbie business owners, the profitable steps and practical actions needed for learning how to build their dream online businesses in their particular niche. Using my online marketing strategies and concepts to help them to create and sell to their ideal tribe. My strategic proven techniques teach them how to build an online business and brand that they will love. 
Now, do you see why you absolutely need a value proposition so that people can totally capture the message and the vision behind what it is that you are trying to sell to them? What you want to be able to do is really show people why you are here in this space and why you can go ahead and help them as their expert within your particular niche. All right, so next you are going to make sure that you hire people to help you to be able to expand and enlarge your mission. Now, I know sometimes it can be totally hard to think about the fact that, hey, I probably just started on my journey of entrepreneurship, or maybe I've been in the way for some time, and I, me, I'm gonna be the one to go ahead and hire people to be able to do different tasks for my business. Yes, you. And so you can do that through the contracting concept, which is you simply utilizing different freelancing websites to help you to get the jobs that really need to get done within your business done. Now you'll learn that in entrepreneurship, you literally do all of the things and you can totally get stuck doing all of the things. But I really wanna take a moment to help you to shift your mindset towards realizing that if you really want to be able to grow your business, you are going to have to learn how to sit in the lady CEO seat and not move. You can totally get caught up with all of the content creation within your business, all of the admin tasks within your business, and not really focus on creating the products and services or being able to pay attention to your clients and your customers. And they absolutely matter in your business, right? And so if you go ahead and you begin to do research on some of these amazing freelance websites, I'll make sure that I put some in the description box down below, you'll find that there are different tasks within your business that you can outsource that will not cost you a whole lot, but they'll definitely cost you time if you continue to do them. So if you make sure that you are hiring people at different steps, or let's say for different projects that you are doing within your business, you'll find that you are able to totally enlarge your mission. But then at the same time, once again, you will be able to hold on to the time that is definitely most valuable in your business building. All right, so next, do not let this next thing intimidate you. I know sometimes as human beings, we have the tendency to really allow for different things that maybe we've never done before to look larger than they really are. You are living in 2020 and I want to let you know that you can literally do anything. If you put your time in and really focus and are open to learning different things, anything that you have not done before in life, is going to be something hard. That definitely connects to one of the concepts that I teach called the butterfly effect, the developmental process of becoming. Whereas we don't allow for different things to intimidate us as upcoming business owners and lady entrepreneurs, but we definitely understand that there is a developmental process to every single thing that we do within our business and also in life. No one is perfect and no one knows everything, everything that people know they had to learn and develop into. So you wanna go ahead and try to see if you are at a place in your business. And so what you wanna do is begin to think about doing ads for your business, whether this is Google ads or Instagram ads or Facebook ads. These particular supplements to your business really help to give you the reach that you absolutely need to be able to bring awareness to your particular brand. And so you use these different campaigns that you set up on these different platforms to really begin to spread the word about your business. I know for me, first coming into the online business space, I had no idea how these other brands and companies were getting the reach that they were getting, you know, and you begin to sulk if not careful and if you don't have the right mindset and think, hey, nobody wants to put their eyes on, on my particular goods or my particular service services or my products. And that's just not true. What you have to do is get savvy and hip to the game and realize that behind every great business, there is definitely a marketing strategy that they have in place in order for them to reach their potential clients and customers. So make sure that you're staying in the know about Google ads and Instagram ads and Facebook ads, learning all of the different things that you have to learn so that you too can be in the know and you can absolutely get all of the eyes that you wanna get on your business. You will get so much visibility, maybe up into the point that you maybe have never dreamed of. Definitely look into doing ads 
for your business so that you can absolutely grow it fast. So this next strategy you can definitely utilize and put into your game plan for growing your dream business is to make sure that you are tapping into the power of email marketing. And so within email marketing, this can include you having newsletters that you send out to your email list on a week to week basis with different updates on your company or your business. And what you do is you really keep people in the know that are on your email list about the different promotions and the sales and the exclusive deals that you have for them as your subscribers. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, or maybe you've heard a little bit about email marketing, make sure that you check out this video that I did that talks about all the things that you need to know surrounding email marketing. It'll definitely connect you to the what within email marketing, as well as teaching you the why you need to make sure that you are including email marketing within your business and also the how as it relates to how you can go ahead and get set up as it relates to doing email marketing within your business. Now, this is a component just like having an ad campaign that can totally help you to be able to scale your business the way that I know that you're absolutely looking to do. Now, this next strategy is something that you probably should already be doing in your business, especially in this amazing age that we live in that connects to video. So you definitely need to begin to use video to get your message out. And so for instance, voila, I'm using YouTube and I'm also on Instagram and Facebook. I mean, you need to be on all of the things that will be able to connect people to your particular brand. Now, if you are shy, I believe that YouTube is a great option for you because this platform allows for pre-recorded videos to where as you can practice sitting in front of your audience and giving them value and totally sharing the things that you want to share about your business or within your niche without having to have to face the crowd right away. But if you are a bit more bold and ready to really get out into the world so that you can share your particular vision, mission, and also your particular brand, then you definitely want to make sure that you are doing Facebook Live and Instagram Live so that people can get to know, like, and definitely trust you. And one thing that I realized like never before within online business is that people do buy your products and services obviously because they like them, but they really buy your products and services because of the fact that they like you. If you have a very likable personality, then you'll find that people will automatically buy into your brand. There has to be that likability in order for people to be able to connect to you. Sort of like the fact that you came across my videos and you definitely connected to my message, but at the same time, there was something about Tamia that you liked that caused you to want to definitely subscribe to my channel. So you want to make sure that you are implementing video within your business model so that you can absolutely grow super fast. So have you ever heard of social proof? This is basically you proving that you can do what it is that you are telling your customers and clients that you can do. So it's important that you get some social proof for your particular business. Now you can put this social social proof on your website, which will really help people to dive into the fact that people are talking about your brand or your particular company or your products and your services. It's the component that gets people talking about your brand. You want people really spreading the word so that if there's a problem or an issue that comes up, people within your particular vicinity or people that have heard about your products and services will automatically think of you and want to go ahead and and refer you. But in most cases, you can only have this done once somebody that has used your products and services goes ahead and really validates that your things work, your services work, you work in terms of what it is that you have to offer people. Now, connected to social proof, you'll find that testimonials validate your particular products and services as well. Now, you'll ha you have the opportunity to be able to promote your testimonials that you have on your website or either on your landing pages as it relates to, let's say you're launching a particular
particular product or service or on your sales pages. I mean, testimonials go a long way. So never work with another client again or have a customer and not offer them the opportunity to be, to be able to validate the products and the services that they have used from you. You can utilize this to definitely get more traffic and eyes on the products and services that you have to offer. Now, there's just something about people knowing that your products and services work for someone else before it can actually work for them. So definitely make sure that you're getting those testimonials and that social proof so that your products and services can absolutely be validated. Now, are you the type of person that has a mindset to keep learning and growing? Well, that's something that you definitely need to make sure that you have as it relates to you growing your business business fast. The more that you have the ability to humbly, humbly consistently take in information and stay kind of ahead of the, her the curve in the know about certain trends, even though you're not going to jump on every bandwagon as it relates to every trend that comes out because it might not work for your business, it's important that you are at least in the know about these things so that you can decide whether or not you want to be able to take one road versus another. And so I believe that an amazing entrepreneur is always thriving because of the fact that they're open to consistently learning and growing as it relates to possibly having a business coach or making sure that you're in the know as it relates to purchasing new courses that can help you to consistently grow and learn within your particular niche. So if you've been just doing business as you usual and you haven't taken time to either connect to a community or hire a business coach or take a particular course then you want to definitely make sure that you do that so that you can consistently so that you can make sure that you are feeding yourself and then you're growing so then you have the resources as well as the strength to be able to give to your customers and clients and so this is definitely the concept behind my upcoming membership called domino entrepreneurship society membership if you have not had the chance to join the waitlist, I'll make sure that I put a link in the description box down below. It is going to be an amazing membership for upcoming ladies entrepreneurs just like yourself, whereas we have community, but then at the same time, the exact tools and resources to be able to consistently grow our businesses. Make sure that you hit the link in the description box down below to join the wait list so that you can stay in the know about when we're going to launch. Now, are you a storyteller? Because I found within online business in particular, any kind of business that people really want to hear your story. They want to know how you got to where you were or how your particular products and services work for you first. Now, if you are upcoming and let's say you haven't been able to really get a hold of testimonials because maybe you're still up and coming, telling your personal story and how what you do has worked for you or how you got to do what you do is something that is absolutely amazing. How did you get started? What inspired you to start? How you were able to be able to grow your business up into this particular point. Sometimes I don't think enough. Sometimes we just try to get validated by other people, but I believe that as the business owners are the primary testimonial for what it is that we are selling. And so when people can hear your story, then you really become more human to them and they're really able to buy into your brand, into your products and your services. So the next time you possibly don't think about telling your story, tell your story, tell how you got started, why you are established, what inspired you to start so that people can get to know you alongside your brand. This is a great way to be able to grow your business because there is a level of relationship that has to be developed with people in this day and age as it relates to the products and the services or either the brands that they buy into. Now, this next strategy that's going to be able to help you to grow your particular business fast is to create a case study. Now, this kind of goes hand in hand with testimonials and validating your products and services and ideas. Now, this kind of goes hand in hand with testimonials, but the 
difference between case studies and let's say customer testimonials is that you're really showing the process that someone had to go through in order to get the results that they wanted to go ahead and achieve. So for instance, let's say you have a weight loss business. It's important that you walk your potential customers and clients through the person's process that has gotten the results that they have gotten. This is why case studies are absolutely amazing. Remember, they're just a bit more detailed than the regular testimonial that you would get. Now, within case studies, you'll find that when you do case studies for your particular products and services or your business overall, that this is a very effective way to be able to talk about the problems of the people that really want to buy into your product and your service, but not only that, how people were able Able to successfully overcome their problem with your particular product, so that they can understand that your your brand and your products and your services are absolutely value and they totally work so in the comments down below let me know out of these 10 strategies these 10 ways that you can go ahead and grow your business and not just be posting on social media and waiting for likes which one of these particular strategies will you go ahead and implement within your business or have you already implemented in your business have you implemented different testimonials or have you hired someone to be able to help you with different things within your business as, as an onboard freelancer what is it that you're doing to be able to help your business currently grow or what will you do to get it to grow fast? Now there's one more thing that I absolutely have to let you know and that is I totally, absolutely believe in you. Do me a favor, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you again here soon. Ciao.